Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to add text inside a shape very easily. Simply come up here to the insert shape option in the toolbar and when I roll over shapes you'll see four rows of shapes that pop out. Um, the first row is squares and variations of squares and circles. The second row being um, hexagons and octagons third being triangular and parallelograms and then stars. So the only shapes you can add text inside of currently is actually any of the squares and the circular shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and click the square, drag it out, and I will also click this circle one. And I'm holding down shift to get a perfect circle to grow. If I let go of shift, it can skew to any size I like. So I'm just going to go ahead and click shift to keep it into a perfect circle. And now if I double click into the shape, you'll notice that a light text box appears. And this is where I can add any text that I like. Same goes for the circle. Now if I add you know, an entire paragraph, the circle will actually grow accordingly. So if that's necessary, that will, that will happen. But um, for now, I'm just going to work with this square. So of course with this, I can resize and the text will not skew. Uh, I can also change the radius of the border if I like. Um, but I'm going to keep it a square for now. Now of course, like any shape, this still behaves uh, like the other shapes would. So I can actually change the fill color to any color that I like, unlike our pre-made icons and I can actually change the border color to any color. Uh, we do recommend, however, using our color presets just because um, they're a really nice ratio of fill color to stroke color um, according to the darkness. It's a nice contrast. Okay, so that's the square text and shape. Um, we actually have uh, pre-filled shapes to save you even more time if you roll all the way down to the text shape option. We actually have two rows here. One is just this perfect small circle with a single uh, letter or number or the word text. Um, and then the second row actually has pre-filled with either the word protein or label. And that's exactly what it'll do. So I can actually click this and it'll pre-drag out a pill-shaped protein shape. So you can imagine now if I'm clicking Alt-Drag on a Mac here, I can multiply this and start to create a pretty robust pathway if that's what I want to do. Of course I could also group select and change the color of the text boxes if I like. Now another use case for the text in shape feature is when you'd like to number say a lab protocol or an experiment like this uh, using numbers to lead your viewer's eye around the page is very helpful uh, to the flow of information. So what you want to do is come up here to the insert shape feature again and come down to the text shape and select one of these preloaded single digit circles. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, number one here. So just click down and then click anywhere on the page. And what that did was it created a perfect circle with a number that's centered right into the middle. So um, what I can do is click Command C and Command V to copy and paste that. And do the same thing five more times. And you can also Alt drag, which I'm doing here now. There's multiple ways to duplicate an object in ViaRender. And all I have to do is double click and of course update the number accordingly. So this one's going to be a four, five, and you see that the, the perfect circle does remain, which is great. Um, and of course you can always align if you like, coming up here to the align tab, making sure that they're all evenly spaced. And there you go. That's how I would use the insert shape text function to number an experiment like this. Now you can start to create some pretty beautiful and complex figures just by using the text in shape function. Uh, of course, again, you can multi-select and change colors using our preset color palette. And then easily edit the text by double clicking 
and adding in text accordingly. Great, so that's the text and shape function and I uh, hope you'll find it helpful.